Welcome back to the second part of the amazing racking race. Now what we found out in the first race when we looked at it closer and through your feedback is actually at rail B some of the installers actually turned and installed the rail upside down and it might have affected the result so we want to be fair and luckily on the same day we shot a validation video and that video thank god all the rails were used the right way. And I didn't even know that you could kind of stuff it up like that when you experienced installer. Maybe there are some systems out there that are not properly installed. And let's see how that turned out. All right, so Giza, we expected these results to be pretty similar, right? Between That's the three right. different products. This is about the difference in the, in the mounting system. There was a consistent challenge that the, the teams, all the teams faced with one of the clips in one of the particular brands in brand B. Consistent complaints about the number of fixings that it took on one of the other ones. But at the end of the day, you can stop sweating now because- Oh geez, I was. <laughs> across each of the three teams, you guys did come in faster. What do you think made that different? It's the product design. Products are designed in a way, it's not just an, econ an economical use of materials, but it's also economical use of time. The connection to the rail uses the abracad with an easy click connection. So that easy click connection allows you just to click in the rail. It's that simple. Uh, you can do your height adjustment if it's needed and tighten up. One of the benefits is obviously it's very fast. Secondly, you have this channel free for cable management. The second thing, the splice just clicks in. So there's no bolts to secure the splice. And the third one is our clamp designs. These clamps have earthing pins on the top and earthing pins on the Z module, which allows a very uh, quick seamless installation. The combination of these product design ideas resulted in a much better difference. So you want to say how much it is? There, there are some pretty big claims out there about how fast some of the other systems were, yes. but quite stunning results. 46% faster than brand, brand B. That's, that's right. right. Which was, that's a huge difference. Now these are small systems. These are small systems. And people will comment on this, that this is only three panels and it's not a, a realistic comparison. So what we did, um, is ask the fastest team to stay behind mm -hmm. and install six panels with all three systems. So that way we can validate whether this is consistent. And this is what we've seen That's today. True. So the results, I think, speak them for themselves, but let's just do a validation test. One more validation test. That's right. Let's do it. So the winning team gets to do it all over again now because we want to validate this. They've proven themselves to be fast installers, but let's get them through and let's make them go through the test one more time, get an extra validation point, see how we go. Nova, come on over here.
believe it. Try it yourself. We made conscious efforts to make this a genuine comparison. However, we understand that individual results can differ. This is why we encourage installers to do their own test. For this, Clenergy is offering a $300 Bunnings gift card per installer who tries these fast to install components. Want to claim yours? Just register using the link in the description, complete your install and share a quick comment or short video about your experience. Positive or negative, your feedback still earns the card. But hurry, gift cards are limited, so register now to lock yours in. We're done, and uh, we've done a validation test, and there were some changes in the results, which is exactly what we wanted to see. It did validate things, even though your product was the very last install of the day, so the guys were the most tired, you know, worn out from a whole day of this. Your product still did very well. Yes, yes, the, the final number at the end of the validation is actually 27%. 27%, so, so the guys were 27% faster installing your stuff. So didn't someone else claim that they were 20 something percent Yeah, they're faster? claiming 25 percent. So it looks like they're not, they got the number right. They just got it the wrong got way Got it around, back to front, back maybe. To front, so <laughs> they're 25 percent slower. So there was a lot of lessons and, and there were some good conversations with the guys about all these subtle things, right? All these small things that make a difference. And what they kept saying about yours was that it was just simple. Simple, it's easy to put in the clamps. You don't have to force the clamps in. Um, the very easy to drop in the rail into the easy click. Yep. Um, and if you have to do hundreds or thousands of clamps a day, it really makes a difference. It makes a difference. They also talked about the fact that often you don't necessarily get it right first time. You might need to pull a clamp out or make an adjustment because, you know, sometimes you just don't get it right first time. And they really like the way that your system could come apart if it needed to do little adjustments, right? Yeah, that happens a lot, you, uh, to, that you have to take off the panel, put it back again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and a lot of lessons, a lot of some feedback. I saw lots you writing of lots good of notes. feedback, I heard, yeah. You yeah. always should talk to your installers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a really valuable day, right? And, and, you know, whether one system is, you know, dramatically faster than the other, that's not really the point here. The point is that um, you've kind of demonstrated that you're certainly not a whole lot slower. Mm. And in fact, what we saw today was that Clenergy stacks up really, really well. Mm. Uh, and there are some really nice, simple features that are built in to a well-engineered product. One of the great things that we learned today was that the final team who went through the validation testing, they've actually done a lot of projects with all three different brands, right? That's correct. They did megawatts and megawatts with system C or system B and clean energy. So it wasn't the first time they've seen the system. Yeah. So I think that's really important because it shows that they're unbiased. They've got experience with all of them. So as much as we possibly could, we had a crew here who knew the different products, who was experienced with the different products. So it was a pretty fair test. It's a fair test. That's what we wanted to get. That's what we got out of it. A genuine comparison. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad that myth is busted now. Um, I am very happy we could spend some time with the installers. Um, and I learned a lot today. It was a good day. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Giza, congratulations on doing so well in this racking race. Um, why do you think uh, you did so well? Uh, thank you, Marcus. Um, it was uh, um, a good race. Uh, I, it was exciting. I really enjoyed it. Um, I wasn't sure what the outcome was going to be, but uh, as you said, Granagy uh, came out on top. This is because um, I, I believe three main components. One is being the interface, the second being the joiner, and the third being the clamp. So when it comes to the interface, we use this uh, easy click interface. So this is a component we have in our range since 2019. It easily allows the rail to be inserted on the top, so it doesn't use the Z module uh, channel, and therefore the rail can be easier um, assembled to the interface, and it can also slide on top easier than the Z module. The second component is the splice. We have this now over a year, which is a clicking splice uh, designed for the Elite and the Eco Rail. So it's universally reusable. It doesn't have bolts, it just has a on an earthing pin and a connection pin on it. And the third component, which is allowed to be fast, is the standard mid clamp, which now also has uh, two earthing pins on the Z module and two earthing pins on the top. So the combination of these three components um, 
gives the installer simplicity and speed. Right. So especially with the earthing pins, the olden days, I remember there were this little lugs or so that you had to slide in and, and screw it down and all that. So this is all kind of been thought through to kind of really make it easy on the roof, make it quick and uh, gives you kind of, you know, the ease of install. There's always pressure on the installer to, to be able to complete the system, assemble the system faster. And obviously this is fed back to us. So engineers are always working on uh, improving our components to try to make it faster, try to make it easier to use, try to make it uh, maybe a bit cheaper, but it's possible to save materials. So this is always going on. And uh, these three components were a result of, of, of many of the feedback um, we received. So as I said, this uh, interface we have since 2019, um, the clamps and the slices, we have it since 2023, 24. So in regards to the clamps, are most installers aware of the earthing pins on that new model? I believe most installers not yet uh, aware of the earthing pins on the standard clamps. They are more aware of the universal clamp or Akashi clamp, which is a slightly different design. Now, what about other players in the industry who run around and beat their chest and go, we are faster, but actually they've never done a test. I haven't seen the empirical data and it's just a marketing claim. You've really... Uh, busted that myth well we did bust the myth uh, you should test uh, any claim is made to you especially if you may build your decisions on it uh, we were not sure 100 percent ourselves uh, at the beginning so we're very keen to find out uh, what the reality is so anybody out there using clenergy uh, when it comes to the gear you've got the fastest engine in the ferrari in your stable Currently, with this setup on the tin roof installation, I can confidently say this is the fastest system you can get. Are there any other surprises in the Clenergy stable? But apart from this clamp, which is comes in 30 and 35 millimeter and also in silver and black, some installers have the need of have this uh, clamp, but in a universal uh, universal format, suitable for multiple panel heights. For those, we have uh, the newly developed Zano clamp. So that allows the same functionality being earthed at the bottom being earthed at the top. So it has a very smart little pin in that channel and a pin on the top. So that allows uh, installation uh, panel height from 28 up to 42 millimeter. Comes also in, in silver and black. And there is also a suitable end clamp for the same design. So with the distributor, obviously they would like that because instead of having a whole range and need to kind of sort them out in different sizes and all that, if one installer uses uh, panels with different framing thickness, they can go with that one clamp and uh, you really only need one lot of uh, supply rather than ordering multiples and trying to work out how many you need of each. Is that it? That's correct. That's correct. Uh, the, the disadvantage of this clamp, it has to be uh, suitable for the panel height. The Zano clamp, uh, which is a special release that can be a use for multiple panel heights, so it's like a universal one. I assume the second one, the new one, is a little bit more expensive, is it? It is a bit, yes. So if you have one module and you're pushing whatever down the, down the road every time, stick to the old one, but if you've got variety, then maybe the new one is a better addition. That's right. Most of the panels seem to be 30 millimeter in the market. Mm. So for many, the fixed size will be suitable. For others, we have a solution as well. Excellent. Well, Giza, thank you very much for sponsoring this race and helping us to get it all going. And uh, also many greetings on Nigel, who I think did a terrific job to get it all underway and making sure it's all done above board. Thank you. Thank you, Marcus. Thank you, Nigel.